In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thermometer progress chart like this in Google Sheets. To begin, you need three things. You need a goal or total amount. You need an amount that shows how much you've saved or tracked towards that goal. And you need an amount that represents how much is left to reach that goal. In my example here, I've got a goal amount. Then I have this saved amount, which sums up my monthly contributions below. And then I have a remaining amount, which is calculated by subtracting the saved amount from the goal amount. Now, how you calculate these numbers is up to you, but it's very important to make sure that your layout is the same as I have here. In other words, you should have the descriptions to the left of the numbers, and the saved number should be above the remaining number. Then, once you have these numbers, you are ready for the next step. Select the saved and remaining numbers along with the headers, and then go to Insert, Chart. In the Chart Editor panel on the right, click on Setup, and for the chart type, select Stacked Column Chart. Then below, check Switch Rows and Columns, check Use Column B as Headers, and uncheck Use Row 3 as Labels. Now click on Customize, and under Chart Style, you can set the chart background color, and you can also choose to remove or change the chart border color as well. Then under Series, choose Apply to All Series, and pick a color for the line right here. You can also increase the line thickness if you want to as well. Next, change this to the Saved Series, and set the fill color to the same color that you chose for the line. Then change this to the remaining series and set the fill color to the same color that you chose as the chart background color. Next, go to legend and set this to none. Then click on grid lines and ticks, select vertical axis and uncheck major grid lines. You can then close the chart editor panel, resize the chart to your liking, and you are done with your thermometer progress chart in Google Sheets. And if you want to see this chart in action, then you should definitely check out this video right here. Like this video if you learned something new, subscribe if you had fun, and I'll see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.